Storm vs Monkey King is a highly technical matchup on both sides. I believe that if both players make correct moves, there is no real kill potential on one another. However, Monkey King should be able to better control the lane. Our goal in this matchup will be to reach level 6 and then we are able to farm freely. Better Monkey King players will most likely begin their lane with the boots as first item. This allows them to reliably collect Jingu stacks, thus effectively controlling the lane. The only way to counterplay this is to get boots ourselves. Since Jingu on early levels is fairly mediocre as a harassment tool, we shouldn't stress about boots too much, but as a general rule against Monkey King, the sooner you increase your move speed, the better. The most important aspect of the lane is, of course, positioning. If Monkey King moves towards your direction, you move a bit back. If you get 2 or 3 stacks on yourself, stay back, let it fall off. As soon as Monkey retreats, return the fire. And this backwards and forward stance will pretty much be the entirety of lane mechanics for this matchup. We do, however, have some more details to cover. Now, Storm's short range will definitely be his weakness in this lane. To avoid giving Monkey 3 or 4 stacks, we cannot secure the range creep with a remnant and should only aim to last hit with the overload. If the circumstances are not advantageous, it is better to let the creep go. As with many lanes, the enemy will have less time to annoy you if you keep waves bouncing between towers. He cannot reach behind yours and is too busy with the creeps behind his. Once he does collect 4 stacks, be prepared to eat a stun. The cast time is nearly instant, so it is hard to avoid, but doable, if we keep in mind the possible trajectory, which is either at the center mass of all creeps, or to secure the ranged one. By level 3, we unlock our combo. Having boots by this time is crucial, as Monkey would just run away with his movement speed if we haven't been investing in move speed ourselves. The combo itself is way easier to set up compared to other matchups, as Monkey will attempt to run you down each free moment. Simply start the combo as he walks up to you. Keep in mind though, that in this case, we will want to avoid using second overloaded right click straight away and will want to wait until we moved a safe distance from the hero. If we keep the monkey on the lower end of health pool, he will simply play less aggressively, which is what we want. Now, some players will be satisfied with getting 3 stacks only and using Q on you to get 4th. This is good in a way that you should never be hit by the overcharged stun. However, he will use up those charges he gets to heal up on last hits anyway. Continue dropping vortex combos to keep him on his toes. Against heroes that can't shove waves, going back to the base to refill, then immediately traveling back, is quite a good way to refill everything while only missing out minimal number of creeps. Since Monkey King has an advantage when it comes to rune control, base runs are a good way to keep up. We will also want to abuse creep aggro every free moment we get. If we get a good separation between creeps and him, we can save mana on overload charges to last hit regularly. Now, if Monkey King is a bit careless or doesn't use Q on 3 stacks to heal up from passive, you can begin wearing him down before 6. If he stays low, by level 6 he should be a guaranteed kill. My opponent, however, always stayed on the higher end and had help ready to rotate to mid, so I couldn't play for a pickoff. Instead of saving mana for a possible dive, I'll use it to swiftly clear wave and rotate the jungle. If we can't deny Monkey's farm, we are going to accelerate ours. The best way to kill Monkey is when he is farming isolated away from his team. Since in a bigger team fight, there's a higher chance of him having stacks already or his teammates helping lock potential targets in place. Versus inexperienced monkeys, or if you had an extra good lane, you should have no problem going after a solo monkey king every time he shows a map, even more so if he managed to hit an early orchid. And, should the game drag late, monkey remains one of the weakest heroes to play against Storm. 
While Storm can't really 1 versus 1 a late game monkey with equal farm, monkey himself has no spells in his kit to reliably lock Storm down. So, focus on getting level 6, then, according to the situation, force Monkey King out of the lane right away, or farm first big item and go hunt him down. Good luck! Dyer's mid towers have a technical difficulty. Over here now! I'll make you pay for this. Dyer's got one last top tower. Radiant mid towers get back. The Monkey King's gratitude is worth more than gold. Where's the body? Over here! Looking for me! Fulfilled. Stupendous! Illusion! Your warning! 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 Missing bottom! <laughs> Now, let 
the fun is over here now. Holy shit! Told you a storm was coming. Someone's asking to take it over to the corner.